Good afternoon, everybody. I'm back, and I know you've been waiting for me. It is one o'clock instead of coffee time because I'm coming to you later in the day today. My project table, which is back there, uh, I've been working on that, trying to get some things finished up before the holidays, and um, it uh, it takes a little time with the things that I do. So they have to be painted and repainted. And then they have to be stiffened with resin, so there, there's, there's some stuff going on there. But um, here is what I want to talk to you about today. I chose this topic because I myself suffer from um, holiday sort of the blues. I don't know that I'm depressed as much as I just feel like, eh, you know, I was um, a mid-level manager for a very large, large um, chain of liquor stores here in Texas. And um, that job was so stressful, it was almost unreal. And you begin to refer to the holidays as OND, October, November, December. Now, it's not to say that it wasn't a barrel of fun because it was, but it became all consuming and your home life sort of frittered away. And um, I remember one time <laughs> I got all everything done, you know, and it was it was early in December and, and it was a really busy season for us already and my Christmas tree fell over. And I was so frustrated because I couldn't get to stand up but I just leaned it in the corner and left it. And I left it like that all the way through Christmas. Now we didn't have any kids at home so <laughs> it was just me and my husband and he truly understood, you know, that the struggle was real for me and um, so we we left it and I thought I'm never having a Christmas like this again never ever never but that job did have a big effect on how I look at Christmas how I view Christmas and um, whether or not I enjoy Christmas is up to me so that's kind of what we're going to talk about a little bit today but I got a real um, great opening story for you today. I have a very small and she's tiny petite little thing and she is three, a great granddaughter and uh, just <laughs> just the funniest little thing you'd ever want to see. She's really kind of bossy and she really wants things focused on her and um, but she's so precious and so cute. She did finally get a little brother and now she's so precious and so cute with him. Uh, but she had a friend coming over and I went over to bring her an advent calendar that I had made for them. And then I also got her a very small coin purse that was all blue sequiny. And um, she was so thrilled with that little gift. And then she was even more thrilled whenever she managed to get the clasp open that there was money in it. And whenever I give her money, I always try to give her a bill and then coins because coins to kids are big deals. So, um, but she had a friend coming over and as we were leaving, the friend came and she was equally precious, equally petite and so cute, but she walked in with a candy cane in her hand and she was so cute. That candy cane was prominent and she told my grand, great granddaughter, look, it's a candy cane. And my great granddaughter said, do you eat it? And she said, yes. And they joined hands and they walked away. And the thing about it is, is they got excited over candy cane. So we should be able to at least drum up a little bit of tinsely spirit within us if that can happen. And what's the best way to get that do done? That is to have children around us or go where we can see children. Um, and one of the ways that I've kind of done that is to make sure that, number one, I've stayed involved in the great's life. They, they have a grandmother, and I'm letting my daughter be the grandmother, and, um, and I'm sort of a peripheral old grandmother. <laughs> and and it's, it's great fun for me to watch, okay? But I still want her to know who I am and that I am part of the fun. And... But children have just such a beautiful spirit about them that 
Christmas to them is amazing and they don't realize it's all their mom. They don't. They don't realize it's all commercial. They just think it's the most fabulous time of the year and that there are angels and camels and uh, depending on which Christmas show you watch, maybe lobsters in the nativity scene, but they're just so happy that all of this is happening around them. And so if you can, be near children. If you have no grandchildren of your own and um, you can go watch them at the mall. You can watch them at Christmas parades. You can um, watch them at anything that is happening in your community that involves children. So we have uh, several parades and we have um, several festivals that I, I kind of just attended, hung back, and I wore my Christmas hat and watched the kids. And, and it, it was sweet and it, it was really, really nice. And they're one of the ways that we can keep Christmas alive in our hearts by trying to piggyback off of their magic. Now, if you have some serious problems, please get help because this is just advice for us that get the bluesies during this time. And I would never think to tell you to do things uh, if you have some absolute real problems, okay? Absolute real problems. So if you are a senior and you are by yourself, um, and we all get there sooner or later, find a place to go for Christmas dinner. If there is someplace in your town that is feeding people, go. If you don't want to eat it, then serve it. Because that's a great way to get involved and to, um, to do these things also. There's just so many things that we can do if we are just mildly depressed, if we are just missing the life that we used to have, to bring that little spirit again into our lives. There's no way that we're going to feel like children again for the full 31 days, you know, of the of December. There's just no way. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And we, we need to stop having those expectations. And one of the expectations that we need to stop having is that we have to spend money on every little thing. And that every year we need more Christmas decorations because we don't. Now, by this age, at 67, I should have every Christmas decoration I need. But it doesn't stop me from looking at them and thinking, oh, I want one of those. It doesn't stop me. But I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Okay? So that is one of the things that we need to get a hold of expectations far earlier before we become really seniors. So that we are not disappointed when we're here. Okay? Every day I keep myself busy. Every day I try to make a little glimmer in my life of something that is fun um, so that I don't become that grouchy, grinchy old person sitting in a chair all bah humbuggy because I don't want to be that way. And I want my mind to stay active, 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 active. But back to Christmas again. Do something today that you think might make you feel a little bit better if it just means going out and walking around. If it means going to Lowe's or Home Depot and looking at the Christmas decorations, that's what you should do. All right? You don't have to buy anything. And you really, really don't have to do much more than just sort of be in the mix for a few minutes. And I hope you do because it's really, really helpful. Now tomorrow, I have a project for you. So I'll be sure and like and subscribe if you would please and uh, be sure and talk to me too because these are helping me to overcome some like I said Christmas blues and hopefully helping you at the same time so everybody Merry Christmas Happy Holidays whatever it is you're celebrating I'll see you tomorrow bye